What's going on guys? My name is JB and in today's video we'll be talking about 10 things that I learned in the 8 months that I've been streaming in no particular order. Let's get this video started. Number one, number one, number one. Uh, gear does not matter. Now what does that mean? Now people might be inclined to say, JB, how can you say that gear does not matter when you shoot on like four different cameras with a dynamic microphone and a mixer and two computers? How can you say that gear does not matter if you shoot with such high quality, relatively expensive equipment? Now my answer to that is yes, I do have that kind of equipment now, but I didn't always. So the microphone that I used to use was a $50 blue snowball and the webcam that I still use is a Logitech C920 from 2011. Not the new version, not the C920 newly manufactured version, not the C922, the original C920 refurbished from eBay. I paid $60 for it in the United States like seven years ago. I bought a used C920 for like $60 back in the day. So that is not relatively expensive. It's expensive now because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but back in the day when I bought it like seven years ago, it was not expensive at all. And my first like five months of streaming, I used one computer and that had a FX8350 from 2012. I bought that CPU in like 2014, 2015, secondhand on eBay for like $160. And the graphics card that I had was a GTX 1050 Ti that I traded because I upgraded my computer now, but with an FX8350, with a GTX 1050 Ti, I was able to grow the page to over a thousand followers in only like six months. So if I can do that with very, very crappy and very, very basic gear, so can you. Because the important thing is, guys, is streaming is all about connecting with the audience and being extremely entertaining. You could be extremely good at your game or you can be extremely fun to talk to. Don't be what I like to call a CCTV streamer. Don't tell me you've never seen these streamers before. Literally, it looks like there's a hidden camera in their room and you are just watching them while they are playing video games. I'm talking to you, CCTV streamer. I call them CCTV streamers. Don't do that, boys and girls, because the best gear in the world, plus unengaging streamer slash person who is relatively boring to watch slash unentertaining, you can be filming on the equipment that I have, but if you are extremely boring, unengaging, and you don't read the chat, and you do not engage with the audience, and you're not just fun to hang out with or talk to, then people are simply not going to watch you. I know that sounds very narcissistic and cocky, but it's true. People are so keen and so focused to be upgrading their gear, but the important thing is to learn and develop skills to talk to the camera, to be comfortable when talking to strangers, to be comfortable with talking to an inanimate object that is your webcam. You have to develop these skills because upgrading gear with no skills is just expensive gear. You don't know how to use it. But if you are extremely skillful in what it is, in talking, in engaging, in understanding how to exactly create content and be engaging to a stranger behind a mobile device watching you live, you can be an amazing streamer with relatively expensive gear. Good gear does not equal good streamer. Good streamer equals skills, gear comes later. That is why, that is why I told myself that I will upgrade the gear when it is now justifiable and when it is now viable. I will not start off with good gear because it's just expensive gear that isn't going to be doing anything. I wanted to develop my skills first so that when I do start streaming, the gear comes later. So number one and first and foremost, gear does not matter. Use what you have, use your phone, use your laptop, develop your skills first. Number two is at first nobody is going to watch you and it takes time. It took me, I keep repeating this over and over and over, it took me 72 streams before people started watching my content. I streamed for 72 times, three to four months of straight streaming, six to eight hours a day for zero people. One or two would come in, but nothing to be too impressed about. And instead of just kicking the can and saying, oh no, I will quit, I kept 
ongoing. People are so keen to be successful quickly. It is ingrained in our society to get things done quickly. I want to lose weight quickly. I want to be re get rich quickly. I want to be successful quickly. People are so, so, so keen to get things done quickly, but that's not realistic. If it takes 12 years to become a doctor, if it takes four years to get a bachelor's degree, if it takes 10 years to become a successful YouTuber slash streamer, then that just proves one thing. That the thing that that proves is anything worthwhile takes time. What is the biggest company in the world right now? The biggest company in the world right now is Amazon, right? Amazon. How many years have they been in business? Like what, 12, 14 years? It took them 12 to 14 years. Amazon, the thing that you pay a yearly subscription to so you can get your socks and sandals in 24 hours after you order it, it took them years to become the biggest internet retailer ever. So if it takes Amazon years to become the big name that it is, that just proves one thing. Anything worthwhile and success takes time. It's not. You are not going to be successful your first time around. You're going to make mistakes. Have you seen my very first streams? No audio. My first two streams. Go to it right now. Facebook.com slash official JD Gaiman. My first two streams. No audio, boys and girls. I forgot to turn on the audio. Mistake. Another mistake is playing games that are no longer relevant. I was playing games on the PlayStation 3. Um, who watches PlayStation 3 gameplay? Probably nobody. So, yes, it's mistakes like that. It's just doing it and learning and taking the time to learn the ropes. Look at riding a bicycle. Did you learn how to ride a bicycle the very first time around? Absolutely not. You probably fell off your bicycle probably like 150 times, correct? So if it takes you 150 times to fall and 151 times to get back up, riding a bicycle is the same thing as trying to become a successful streamer. You have to learn and relearn and make mistakes until you get it right. You know what I'm saying? So number two, success takes time and you have to embrace delayed gratification. Number three is don't compare yourself to others. You are only better than the person you were yesterday. Don't compare to others. It is so easy to be like, oh, but go Schmo and ABC and XYZ. They uh, grew in only a year. They grew in only two months. They grew in so quick a time, quicker than me. I am comparing right now. Don't compare yourself. Everybody is different. Every personality is different. Every content creator, every streamer is different. And your personality will attract your own personal crowd. That, that is why it is called community building. So don't compare because people just, you, you attract who you are. People who, people that watch my stuff are just like me. They're, they, they, you know, they, they, they have similarities in personality that's why we vibe in the chat you I would not watch somebody who I wouldn't say is not like me but doesn't have the same characteristics as me if I cannot be BFFs with them in real life I'm not gonna watch them that is why I I, I, I side to other content creators that I feel that I can really relate to if people can't relate to you then they're not gonna watch your content so do not do not compare yourself to others. Be like Joe Schmo. You know, maybe I should be like Joe Schmo. Maybe I should be like ABC because they're getting viewers, but then you're being fake. Don't be fake. Be real. Because it is very, very easy to tell a person being ingenuous and ingenuous, ingenuine and fake. You can tell very easily if somebody's uncomfortable behind the camera and if they're trying to play a facade. Don't do that. Don't be a fake streamer. Be true to yourself and don't compare yourself to others. Just go with number two and delayed gratification. Just wait. Number three, number three, number three. It, this streaming thing. Number three? Are we number three, number four? Number four, I think, right? Number four is you have to have some. You have to have some self awareness. If you watch your streams and you're not talking, and if it's a two hour stream, and you just pick three random points and they're, and you're not talking, you would be like, damn, my stream's kind of boring. 
Maybe I should do something or change something so my stream is no longer boring. It takes a lot of self-awareness to be able to look at something and say, hey, maybe I'm not doing something right. Human beings, it is ingrained in our culture that we are perfect. I am perfect. JB does not make mistakes. That is not how it is. And if you don't have a lot of self-awareness, if you are in denial of, this, of your content, if you are in denial of your ability to stream and create content, ask others. Your friends and family are the best people to tell you what's up. If they say, JB, you are boring, then take their advice. Your friends and family won't lie to you. Your, 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 your super not close friends might, but your family isn't going to lie to you. Your family's going to be like, JB, you are boring. You got to fix something because your content is not good. So if your family tells you that, then it might be, it might be worth it to listen to them as much as that hurts because it, I know it might hurt. Your 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 uh, close family members telling that you hey you uh, are boring, but it's that kind of constructive criticism that will help you grow and change your content, adjust and readjust. So number four is be self-aware, and if you are not self-aware, I got it, I got it, I got it. Number five, number five, number five, number five is, are you really giving it your 100% honest effort? You gotta ask yourself that. Are you giving it your 100%? Now, I'm not talking about quit your job, neglect your relationship, neglect your kids, put in 100% effort in your stream. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, are you working smart and putting in a real effort into trying to succeed? Because there are people out there who are so inclined to achieve their goals, but they're not really trying and they're not really being honest with themselves. Example. Streaming once a week for 30 minutes, is that really you giving it your 100% try? Streaming for an hour inconsistently, is that you really giving it a 100% try? Now, I don't have a wife, I don't have you know children, I don't have any bills to pay because I still live with my parents because I'm still in school, but that does, that's, not, that's not an excuse though. My, my thing is, with your situation, can you put in a real effort because it's very easy to say oh I worked my butt off and then I you know you 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 reflect and be like you know what is 45 minutes of streaming once a month is that really the best that I can do is that really the amount of 150 percent effort that I can give out is that really an honest effort because some people can't even get past themselves people say I'm working my butt off you know but they're not really working their butt off they're just Focusing on stuff that is not so important, you know, sometimes to learn you have to do just like riding a bike in order to learn how to stream you have to Fall down get up fall down get up fall down get up fall down until you find the flow that works for you And then you understand how to talk to the camera how to be engaging how to talk to strangers on the internet and to do all of these different things are you really putting in a hundred fifty percent effort if you're not, then you might want to put in more effort into trying to grow as a streamer. Number six, number six, number six, number six, number six, number six. Um, there are going to be people that don't like you. There are going to be people that are trolls and do evil little things to you and be mean to you. And aside from being mean to you, there's even people who are super nice to you but are ingenuine and are just weird and they're creeps. You got to be careful on the internet please be careful on the internet boys and girls trust no one you know what i'm saying be careful on the internet people there are 99.9% .9 of people are amazing genuine people who have the heart of gold but then it's not it's that 1% of people that you got to be careful with so trust no one and be careful on the internet because people who seem genuine and people who seem you know really want to be your friend can have some very malicious intent speaking from experience so be careful on the internet boys and girls and always be safe if you are under the age of 18 make sure your parents are watching what you're doing on the internet because you have to be safe there are a lot of weirdos out there just saying number seven number seven um this is something that i don't know how to explain in words but i will try my best sometimes in life 
You just have to hit the ground running and just try and do and see where it goes. Because when I started streaming, boys and girls, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what gear I needed, what settings to use, what microphones sound good, what games to use, the analytics, the audience, the demographic, merch store. I didn't know any of that. But I just started. Because for me, because I am extremely self-aware, I like to say that, I have this problem. I have this very bad problem of getting in my head. If you guys ever heard of um, paralysis by analysis, that is what I have. I overthink things. I want things to be perfect, the lighting has to be good, the videography has to be good, the, the words that I say has to be good. I cannot stutter so much. You guys know that I stutter a lot. So that is my issue. And because I have that issue, I just, I say, well, too much, I'm not gonna post it, not gonna edit, whatever. Example, example! I made an entire video, I shot it on my phone, I made an entire video of my streaming setup that you can see right behind me, and I didn't post it because I did not like the videography. It was very shaky, it was not HD, it was blurry, it was all over the place, the lighting was, so, ugh, I didn't like it. But I wish that I just posted it and learned from that experience. So one of the things that I'm doing actually is every single day I want to pick up the camera and just start talking, film it, edit, and post it. Because I feel that just doing it and learning and just rolling with the punches is the best way to learn because that's how I did it. That's how I started my stream. That is how this stream has grown to almost 2,000 people in only eight months time. Because I just, I just started. I just started to stream 72 streams. The first three to four months of my streaming experience, just nobody, just learning the no audio, blurry, people ga playing games that nobody watches, you know? It's just all kinds of learning needs to happen before you reach success. So just hit the ground running just do it and just try and you can do all the research you want you can watch all of my videos you can watch all of alpha gaming's videos you can you can watch all of nutty's videos you can watch every streamer video twitch facebook gaming mixer on youtube and nothing will ever prepare you more enough than just trying and learning and seeing it where it goes because that's what I did. I watched every Alpha Gaming video. I watched every Nutty video. I watched that other guy who does Twitch uh, streaming how-to video tutorials. Epos Vox. I watched all of them. But it could not prepare me more than just hit the ground running and just trying and making mistakes and learn. We are so trained in our society that making mistakes is bad. What happens when you fail an exam? Your parents yell at you. They say, oh, JB, you failed an exam. You are grounded. Give me your phone, right? What happens when you make a mistake at work? Oh, you employee making a mistake at work. You are fired. Mistake equals bad. And that is how we are trained from very young, making mistakes, doing things wrong, getting it not right equals bad but in the thing that is content creation youtube streaming facebook twitter instagram that is mistakes and wrongdoings are you need to accept them you need to not be afraid of making mistakes you need to not be afraid of messing things up and not doing you know it right the first time or even the 73rd time because i got it right after 73 tries so you know, it's, 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 it's a matter of relearning the behavior of failed exam equals bad, you know, to, okay, I made a mistake, I'm going to learn from the mistake, I'm going to not make that mistake again and move on with my life. That is something that is very difficult to do when you have been trained that way from a very young age that failed exam equals bad, grounded, no phone for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So... You have to accept defeat sometimes, and you have to accept mistakes, and you have to be able to fall down and learn from them. You can fall down a hundred times, but the important thing is that you get up 101 times. You know what I'm saying? So, the next thing is number eight. Number eight, number eight, number eight, number eight is what? Make streamer friends. That is what I told my sister to do because it is very important to make connections, have connections to other streamers, big and small, so you can learn from 
others. I've learned so many things from streamers who are bigger than me on Twitch and on Facebook gaming and on YouTube and have and people have learned a lot from me. So it's good to learn from others. It's good to make friends. This streaming thing is boring by yourself. It is boring if it's just you and the audience all the time. It's fun to have other people who do the same thing who you can learn a thing or two from. They are filled with knowledge and experience that you either have or don't have and it's cool to be able to meet in the middle of the knowledge that you both have and to learn from each other. So my suggestion to anybody is it's important to make streamer friends. It is not important to make streamer friends for the sake of clout. Don't make streamer friends so you can name drop and you could like leech off of their success. Make streamer friends because you enjoy watching their content, you idolize them as a person, you want to be their friend, and you would like to learn more from them, and you would like to teach them a thing or two. Don't be like, oh, what's up, let me be your BFF because I'm going to leech off of your success. Don't do that. Be genuine to streamers small and big. There is always something new to learn from somebody. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. Playing video games and gaming is different from creating content. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is playing video games is a hobby, okay? Creating gaming content is not you can't, you can't switch it. You know what I'm saying? When somebody jumps into your stream, once again, there are two kinds of streamers. There are streamers who are Mr. Entertainer or Mrs. Entertainer pants, and there are streamers who have the skills to pay the bills. Less than 1% of all streamers have the skills to pay the bills. If you're like Ninja and Shroud and you're just amazingly awesome with a keyboard and mouse, getting headshots across the map, then good for you. People might watch you just for your gaming content because you're just so Mr. Headshot across the map pants. However, if you are the majority of streamers and you don't have the skills to pay the bills, you have to have something to else. You have to have something else to give to the table. You have to be Mr. Entertainer pants, funny. You have a relatable personality. You have to have something else, all right? That is why I tell people that the gameplay, right? This is this is this is number nine. The gameplay is there as a conversation starter. The gameplay, it is not all about the gameplay. People make mistakes like no microphone, no webcam, they're they are just pure gameplay. Okay. You can play soccer every single day. Oh, not, not soccer, I can't relate with soccer. Let, let, let's try boxing. I can relate with boxing, right? So you can go to a gym and box all day, right? Let me let me give you my twenty nine ninety five, and you know, let me let me punch for an hour twice a week, right? You can do boxing, right? But what is the reason that you watch your favorite boxer, Manny Pacquiao, right? You know what? What is the reason why you watch him? You're not watching him because of the boxing. You're watching him because it's freaking Manny Pacquiao, and you're a huge fan of Manny Pacquiao, right? So that is the reason. You're not watching the streamer because of the game of the gameplay. You're watching it because Manny Pacquiao likes boxing. I like boxing. That's cool, but I really like Manny Pacquiao as a person. So I'm going to watch all of his, you know, pay-per-view 59.99 every Saturday. You know what I'm saying? So th that is that is the reason. People people seem to think that streaming is all about the gameplay. It's all about the gameplay for Shroud and Ninja. If you're Shroud and Ninja and you got the skills to pay the bills, go for it, man. Just headshots all day. If you're like the rest of us who just don't have the skills to pay the bills, you have to add something else to the table. The gameplay is there as a conversation starter. People are there to watch the streamer, not the game play. So find something that is 100% you that only you can give. Find a reason why people jump into your stream all the time. For me, it's because I know how to talk to people, I can make people feel good, and I can be a friend behind the camera. That is a skill that I've developed over the years, being able to talk to strangers and make them feel like they are my friend. That is a skill that a lot of people don't have. We have been taught as a society that stranger danger, strangers are bad, do not talk to strangers. When you are streaming, you are literally talking to strangers all the time. 
So that is a skill that I have. I understand talking to people online is something that is, uh, is a skill that needs to be developed. I happen to have that skill. So that is why people jump into my stream because I can talk to them and they will reply back to me and I can relate and I can be a personality behind the camera. That is the value I can give to them. You gotta find your own value and ask yourself the question, why do people watch me every week? Number 10, number 10, number 10. If you want to take anything out of this video, it's this. Always be adding value. That is the thing that I learned that is 100% prevalent all the time. You always want to add value. You always want to add value to somebody, the audience, other streamers. You want to add value. If you are creating content, you are adding value. You might say, JP, how do I add value? If uh, I'm just talking to somebody on a stream, somebody could be having the most horrible day on planet earth. And you say, Hey, what's going on? How was your day? L let's talk for 30 seconds. That could make someone's day. You have just made somebody's day, a stranger in a faraway place. You have just added value to without even knowing it. You know what I'm saying? So always be adding value and you might be adding value in your own little way. Example, 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 example. I watch streamers because they are just so funny. I watch streamers because they are so skillful. I watch streamers because I have, I have so much I want to learn from them and they are an idol to me and I want to do what they do and add my own JB Alabastro twist to it. So add value because if you are somebody who gives value to others, then you are worth valuing. And that is the end of my video. Please make sure you subscribe the subscribe. Please make sure you subscribe if you liked the video. Please make sure you like and hit the bell icon. You can watch a video over here or you can watch a video over here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go. Bye.